Welcome back to Japan After Dark. This is part two of our Okinawa series. I'm David. I'm Alex. And today we're going to be trying some very interesting drinks from Okinawa and some pretty cool looking snacks too. Yeah, yeah. stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff going up today. Uh, the first drinks we're going to try are Chuhais. All right. Do you like Chuhais? I do. Uh, I'm not like the number one Chuhai fan. Yeah, I tend to drink just like the regular Chuhai, so like a grapefruit Chuhai or、mm. lemon Chuhai, just like regular kind of fruits. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, Chuhai is a very popular kind of carbonated alcoholic drink in Japan, so you can find them in any convenience store, any restaurant. It's basically soda water. Shochu, or Japanese kind of vodka, weak vodka. And it has some kind of flavor in it, so just a grapefruit flavor or lemon flavor. So it's like an easy drink for restaurant staff to make, or、yeah. bar staff to、yeah. make. And you can also buy them in cans like this. Yeah. So for Chuhai, typically, what kind of strength are we talking about? They actually have quite a spectrum of strengths, right? So they have like the The weaker ones that are 3%,、mm. but they can go up to 9%. Right. Those、yeah. ones have strong written in big <laughs> letters on them. <laughs> And they are strong. They are quite、well. strong.、Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you want like a real buzz or if you've had an especially hard day, I know Japanese people tend to like knock those back pretty hard.、So. Yeah, yeah. They tend to be quite low carb because they're using shochu, which is zero carb, and they're using soda water, which is also zero carb. Shochu is zero carbs? It is, yeah. What? Yeah, that's insane,、carbs. man. Yeah. I know vodka too is zero yeah, carbs. That's right.、Yeah. Whiskey too. I don't know about the sweet potato shochu. So, shochu is made from two ingredients. So, one is、yeah. wheat and sweet potato. But、yeah. wheat is. The wheat shochu is zero carb. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have two Chuhais today.、Um, what makes these Okinawa?、Uh, it's the fruit they're using makes、okay. them Okinawa. So, they have a very Okinawa design on the can. I actually found these in Okinawa Fair. They're both pretty low alcohol, they're both only 4%. And this one over here is a pine and shikuaza flavor. Do you like shikuaza?、Mm, yeah, I do. Hmm. I think we introduced maybe briefly Shikawas on another episode, but it's a very small citrus that is from the next prefecture over. So, Ehime is famous for Mikan, and Oita is famous for Shikawas. Right, right, yeah. Is it also popular in Okinawa? I don't know. It's an Okinawa drink.、Yeah. So. I guess. I guess we can assume so. The other one is a Acerora and Shikawaza. So that one also has Shikawaza. You know, Acerora, what is Acerora. this? That's like a small red berry. So out of the two, I would imagine this one is more Okinawa than this one, per se. Okay, so essentially this one is kind of、uh, citrus and pineapple flavor.、Mm. This one is a citrus and berry flavor. Yeah.、Okay. That's right. Yeah. Alex, which one would you like to try first? Ooh. If I were to guess, I think this one might be the most、okay, no. most tasty. So I want to try this one first and save potentially the best for last. If you're asking me. You're like the kind of guy who eats all his vegetables first and saves the steak to me. <laughs> Are you typically a pineapple fan? I like pineapple, yeah.、Mm. yeah. Do you like a lot of pineapple? Do you eat pineapple? I like it on pizza. Not one of those people. Really? Yeah. 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 Those people. Yeah, that's a very、uh, dividing topic. Very controversial topic.、Yeah. Ooh, I can smell that from over here. That is strong, isn't it? Yeah. Pineapple, not shikawaza. So, again, this is 
uh, Chuhai, made by Asahi. It's an Asahi product. Yep. It is 4% alcohol, 0.2% juice. But it does have a strong aroma, a little bit florally, like... Almost like a grape smell. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. That's tasty. Yeah. Like a fruit soda. Yeah. Like a fruit juice. Very fu fruity. I can get behind that. I like the pineapple taste. The pineapple is really good. Yeah. Really nice pineapple taste. It blends well with the shikawasa. Do you taste alcohol? Does it taste alcoholic too? That's tough. A little, yeah. I can taste it. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Typically the 3% drinks taste like juice, in my opinion. This one kind of passes that threshold. Is this like a special limited edition item? I think it's not limited edition, so it might just be something they sell in, in Okinawa. To be honest, I don't know if this is made for the Japanese mainland, or this is from Okinawa. It's sold in Okinawa. It could be just like an, like a drink that looks Okinawa style for Japanese. You mean like Texas Pete? Like Texas Pete. Yeah, Texas Pete. Not from Texas. It's from New York. <laughs> Texas Pete, the, the long-running character on this podcast. I think Texas Pete should sponsor this, yeah. this show. I think they got more free advertising than they've ever had. Yeah. From any other source. Yeah. So if you're listening to Texas Pete. We love you. <laughs> we'll go that far. <laughs> Well, let's uh, try out the uh, Acerorato Shikuaza. This one has a much weaker smell. I'm not smelling this one at yeah. all. No, I was expecting something a little bit more like sugary and cloudy before we poured the previous one. From now? Yeah, like yeah. A, more of a milky. Yeah, these are like appearance. completely clear. Yeah. Like the dry chew. Ooh, I smell it now. I smell it now. Ooh, that smells like a like a berry. That smells like the kind of scent you would use to like freshen up your room. <laughs> you know, like one of those room your air fresheners. Your, your bathroom. I, I didn't want to go there. But... <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess we can go there. I'm back. Oh man, that's totally different. Wow. It's got that bitter yeah. bitterness that a berry would have. Yeah. But sweet at the same time. Again, the berry taste is way stronger than the shikawaza taste. Yeah. This one I can't taste shikawaza at all. Can you? The pineapple one a little bit, but this one is like totally dominated by berry taste. Yeah. I'm sure it's in there somewhere, but... If you told me, I would not guess that. Yeah. If I drank this blindfolded, I would probably say it's like a mixed... Like some kind of mixed berry drink or something? Like a mixed fruit drink? Yeah, some kind of fruit punch thing. Yeah. Like, um... I would guess... Like, cherry and pineapple and... Like, tropical punch, I guess they call yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But if you want a... Like, a beach somewhere, like... This would be alright. I could drink this. <laughs> this would be the like beach drink. Out of a straw or something? Or a yeah. Cocktail stick in it or something? This flavor with uh, like a shaved ice. Like a frozen margarita style. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That would be really good, I think. Yeah. That would be refreshing. Dangerous as hell, because I probably would not stop drinking that. So. Dude, you would suck those down. <laughs> <laughs> What's that uh, restaurant in America, the guy who sells frozen margaritas? Gimme Buffett. Call Asahi and say, can I make this a frozen drink? You can add like another billion to the two or three billion you already have. So. <laughs> <laughs> can add another hamburger to your paradise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this one reminds me of a little bit? Like... That kind of candy, like sherbet candy powder 
they pour into your mouth? Like kids. Oh can. man, you just ruined it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking no, about. No, I said that. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Man, that cheapened it for me. <laughs> <laughs> this one specifically. Like a kid's candy. Yeah. Tastes a bit like that. Yeah, like. like a popping candy or something. I don't know if you have this in England, but do you know Smarties? Smarties? Yeah. We have something called Smarties. So. Smarties, they're like these, like, chalky. Like, oh, yeah. Disc yeah, shaped. Yeah, yeah. The multicolored things, yeah. yeah. Candy. Okay. They're all like. Taste the rainbow thing. That's the slogan, right? Uh, that's Skittles. That's something different. Smarties are. I think they're much older. They taste just like this. And it's like. Like a really old school candy. Like Love Hearts? Like that era of candy. Okay. Maybe even older. Uh, I would give the pineapple. Chu Hai. The pineapple Shikoasa. This one? Yes. I'd give that a. 3.5. And I would give our friend here a 3. Did the score change after I bought up the candy thing? Did you drop like half a point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Panic, because I'm not a fan of those candies. <laughs> so next we have uh, Orion Beer from Okinawa. Orion beer, I've yes. heard of that. So that's hmm. the maybe the most popular beer in Okinawa. So it makes up about sixty percent of beer sales in Okinawa. But interestingly, uh, nationwide in Japan, it's only about one percent. So there's kind of a gap there. Really, that's interesting. So, like, I often see it in convenience stores here, but yeah, I figure like Super Dry or Kirin. Like massively outsell Orion yeah. beer. So if you find it at the stores, on in like one of the mainland stores, like in Honshu or Shikoku, Kyushu, Hokkaido, usually it's kind of off to the side. It's one of the mm. more secondary options they have. It's like in the corner of the fridge, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's a shame. It has a has a pretty cool can and cool yeah. name. Sometimes I get it. Yeah, it has a more me like, too. Occasionally, it has a more like premium feel. Yeah, to it. It has Asahi on the can, so I think they were originally a different company, but they they started working with Asahi to like bring it to mainland. Ah, uh, okay. Japan. So I think it was formed in the. I think it was founded in the 1950s, and I heard it was originally like a. Uh, like a German style, but they changed it to an American style. Maybe it's something to do with the U.S. military presence. Really? Presence. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. So it's something more similar to like a Budweiser then. Does it taste like Budweiser to you? Like a U.S. beer? Uh, I've never actively compared it while drinking it. I'm curious how they took it to taste like an American beer. Yeah. But maybe they wanted the U.S. Soldiers or something, people stationed in Okinawa to drink it. So that's interesting. Yeah, I've always been a fan of the the logo for Oyan beer. It's a cool logo. Like it looks kind of retro, but at the same time, like space age. In some weird way. I don't, it's hard to describe. It's cool. I like it. Like a retro future. That's true, right? You can have it like in the future in an SF movie and yeah. have the same can. It would kind of match. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or like in Alien, they have like the the computer, and it's in the in the future, but mm -hmm. it looks like an old computer. Right. But it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that what you mean? Something like yeah, that. like retro future. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's interesting they changed it from a German beer. So a German beer would be like Ebis mm. in Japan, because Ebis actually uses hops from Germany. They're actively trying to make it taste like a beer from Germany. Do you think maybe it's due to the climate? I mean, a German beer would be just too, like, heavy heavy mm. for the climate in Okinawa. Oh, so you want, like, a lighter beer or something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, on our poster behind you, you know, that kind of beer would be for that environment, right? So... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Something you just gulp down. Yeah. 
that refreshes you. It's not only for drinking, mm. it's like to refresh you or something. So this is very cold. This has been in the freezer. So let's see if that works. So, yeah, I'm getting the ice cold today. Yeah, I've had this a few times and if you serve it, I would recommend serving it ice, ice cold. It's a beer that works better very cold. So on the can it says the draft. And recently on the other side it actually has uh, a picture of a flower. It looks like a hibiscus. Hibiscus, it? yeah. And it also has uh, the kanji for Okinawa. Right there. So it's pretty cool. Come back. Yeah, comparing that to like uh, Abyss, yeah, totally different. It's much lighter, much yeah. easier to drink. Y you get a pretty mild aftertaste from that. For me, almost no aftertaste. Not hoppy at all. I can like see this going nicely with like some like salty food. Yeah. All right. Maybe some nuts. Nuts. Yeah. Do we have any nuts today, Alex? Nuts. Nuts. Oh, do we have any nuts? What is that behind you? I think we do have some nuts. Wait, did I say Oreo on it? That's right. We have some Oreo nuts today. Did our studio just become a bar? They're like hanging. There's so. a almond cheese okay. and tacos. So tacos. Fried chilies flavor. Oh, okay. Mm. It's like a spicy taco flavor. Ukon curry. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so this is a Orion beer nuts. I'm guessing this is sold in bars or izakayas or something. And it's non fry, as it says. <laughs> Healthy. Yes. Right, let's, let's play a game. Let's try to guess which flavor is which. You want to try the brown one first? <laughs> All right. And don't smell it before you eat it. That's cheating. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not the tacos. Really? It has a little chili powder taste to me in the background. Really? I think that might be the tacos. Really? I thought it was the curry. I don't taste curry. No? Let's try the lighter brown one. Yep. Maybe it's color-coded. <laughs> okay, this one here? This is a light brown color. Okay. That's the curry. That's sweet, the curry. Like sweet curry. Yeah. Definitely the curry. The final one is like a... Kind of a white colored long... This, this guy? Yeah. It almost looks like a rice cracker, like a senbei or something. Yeah. Alright. That has to be the almond juice. Yeah. So the first one had to have been the that tacos. Was, yeah. What did I say the first one was? Curry. Okay. The second one is definitely. I didn't get any taco flavor from the first one at all. I just got like chili powder flavor. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in for a second round for the first one. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah. You know, like chili powder you put on something. Yeah. No. It's not strong, but it's it's kind of there. It's there. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah. I like the almond cheese. Really? No. Looking at the ratio, there are way more curry ones than the other kinds in it. <laughs> it's like eighty percent curry. <laughs> I wonder if like they're all like that. I'm gonna try the taco, the curry, and the almond. You're a madman. All at the same time. You okay? See what happens. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Signing off. Japan after that. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. That's good. If you eat them all together. That is good. Really tasty. Yeah. Quite complex. So many things going on in your mouth. That's a nice little snack. It is. Yeah. The Orion Beer Nuts. Thankfully, the company that manufactures this is headquartered in Okinawa, so at least on that note, they're legit. Should we rate them? So, Orion Beer, I'll just go. It's one of my favorite beers in Japan. It, really? Yeah, it actually reminds me a lot of Height, the Korean beer. Height is one of my favorite beers in Asia. 
the very frustrating thing is we live like as close to we live closer to Korea than Tokyo in Ehime. Isn't that funny? Like Busan, Busan is closer than Tokyo, but I can't find height anywhere, and it's like the main being Korea. It's the <laughs> national beer. It's closer than Okinawa actually. That's insane. For me, this is a for like drinkability. On like a summer's day, four point five. I'd give it a three point five. I think. Really? Yeah. It's a little better than average for me. You like deeper beers? Maybe. Uh, but I guess super dry is a little deeper than this. For the logo, though, I get to five. It's got one of the best logos for a beer. So what do we have next, David? So the next drink we're gonna try is. Awamori. Ooh. Awamori. Yeah, I felt so, today we were building up to the, the Awamori. Yeah. If I were to just throw it out there, I would say probably, <laughs> uh, for example, uh, tequila kind of has a special reputation in many places. Mm. You know, like it's the drink. That'll really mess you up. Do you think Aomori has that reputation in Japan? I, I do. Really? From people I've talked to. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah, Aomori is a distilled drink, so it's not brewed like sake. It's distilled like shochu. Uh, the difference is that the alcohol level can be way higher than shochu. Shochu is typically 20 or 25%. This one can go from 20 to 60 percent. The 60 percent one is called Hanazake, which is flammable. So I've heard uh, Omori is made from like Thai rice. Yeah, originally it was made from uh, an Okinawan long grain rice, but that is ex- it's too expensive. So recently they're using the import rice from Thailand. Uh, so traditionally it's made with a, a native Okinawan rice. Yeah, that's right. But they switched to Thai rice to just yeah. save money, I guess. To save money, yeah. I see. I'm sure there are probably still some like older uh, distilleries that are using Okinawan rice. But uh, I think it's because it originates from the Thai drink Lao Kao, which is made from rice. Thai rice, long grain rice. Really? Yeah. Oh. So it yeah. has its roots in Thailand. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's interesting how different cultures influence like islands and things like that. Right? As far as other Asian countries influencing Japan, you, you think of primarily like China, maybe sometimes yeah. Korea. But also you think of European countries like Portugal or Holland, yeah. like Castella, things like that. Yeah. Thai influence in Japan is not really a thing, I think. So I guess it is. <laughs> In this case, it is now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that does make sense because I would think like Thai drinks are quite strong, like Vietnamese or Thai or and I have Malaysian zero alcohol. experience with Thai drinks, except for they make one beer that's pretty well known. Singha. Singha, yes. Mm. Yeah, I've had Singha before, but that's about it. But I brought you a Thai whiskey back from Thailand. Do you remember? Um, what, what was it called? I don't remember the name, but I drank it in a street food. Not a street food store in Thailand. They have street food stores and they have street bars. Mm. So they have like these little counters on the side. Oh like, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I drank that. <laughs> <laughs> and the bartender, she recommended it to me when I was just on the side of the road. Uh-huh. And she just like, yeah, try this and just poured like... A glass like this for. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that seems expensive, and then I went to Seven Eleven, mm. and it was like a six hundred, what do you say, milliliter bottle for like five dollars of that whiskey. So. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like the hardcore alcohol vibe of this. Like makes sense to me, like it might have a, like a Thai origin or something like that. And it does have kind of a stronger smell than shochu. It does have a strong smell. 
like it might be right made from some kind of more funkier rice than sushi rice or something like it might be made from like a long grain rice or something so yeah th- that's another way in which it reminds me of tequila i mean obviously yeah it's a completely different drink yeah but right. Similar to tequila, awamori has a very unique smell to it. Uh, we're actually going to try this with a uh, pretty strong snack as well. Like. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is this? <laughs> uh, the one we have on the plate is the regular spicy version of Mimiga Jaki. Uh, this is like a, a pig ear That's right. jerky. Yeah. In Japanese, mimi means ear. And Mimiga is a dried pig ear jerky from Okinawa. Traditionally, it's served in vinegar. So they pickle the, the ear in vinegar and then they slice it thin. And then you would eat it in a izakaya or bar restaurant with awamori. So I've never had this, but it sounds like <coughs> it would be a good combination with mm. awamori. I've never had the jerky version. I've had like the, the fresh cut version in a restaurant somewhat off topic but growing up i often went to a local pet store to like buy some uh, treats for my dog i had like a beagle and they always had a like a big section dedicated to dried pig ears you know to like give to your like dog with his really? little hmm. dog treats so my Pretty much my entire life experience of peak ear is in the context of giving it to my dog. Okay. Dog food with Aomori. Yeah. It, it always smelled nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have two versions. So we have the uh, spicy one and the Gekikara or super spicy. Ooh, okay. so we're going to try that in a minute. I'm curious about this one. Do you want to try the Aomori first? Yeah. To that person. So, this brand is called Ryuku Anamori, and this says it's a geographical indication Ryuku Japan. So, maybe there's some kind of history behind this brand mm. as well. You can get this brand in uh, 25% or 30%. And the kanji or the symbol here, Shima, means island. There's another name for Aomori. Uh, Shimazake. Really? Shimazake? Shimazake. Mm. Same thing. Um, yeah. The <laughs> island alcohol. How much was this? How much did I buy, pay this? Right. I was asking you off camera and we decided I would try to guess on the show. To the leader, I think. I want to say, if you were to give me a hint, is this like top tier or is this middle of the line or is this like entry it's just, level? It's just a regular um, one. I would say 1,600 yen. Cheaper. Uh, 1,000 yen. 1,000 yen. Uh, modest amount today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are several ways to drink this. So you can drink it on the rocks. Uh-huh. You can mix it with water. Or you can mix it with soda. Or some like fruit juice soda. I've had it with shikawaza soda, lime soda, soda, water. What's your favorite way to mm. deserve it? I don't drink it very often, but... I've only had it a handful of times in my life. If I drink shochu, I like to drink it on the rocks or with water. Me too. Ooh. There it is. There's that smell. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, drinking it the first time, you can definitely tell it's in a way related to shochu. Yeah. Mm. Well, it has like the same process to make it. Really. Yeah. yeah. It's very sippable, you can just sip this. So. It's very smooth. It's not so harsh, I don't think. It doesn't taste no. nearly as in your face as the smell is. No, it smells stronger. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Very easy to drink, which I think adds to the, the danger factor. Should we try the snack? So, yeah. So a regular chili taste. This is the dried pig ear. I'm expecting... You can tell it's like really dried, like it's really become much smaller than the original size, mm. maybe. And it's not like dried, like dehydrated. It's still quite oily and... 
has a sweet, sweet smell. Yeah. Wow. It's got like a uh, bacon flavor to it. Yeah. Obviously, it's pork. Yeah. But it's weird, the texture. It's chewy. It's a little crunchy. But yeah, also crunchy, but like in a like tiny piece of like cartilage sort of yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Not, not not a cracker sort of way. It's a little spicy, not not unbearably spicy. Mm. Like a good heat. Yeah. But I can taste some other tastes like soy sauce or something like that. Some umami. And that's a tasty snack, man. Yeah. I approve. David, this might be one of my favorite snacks we've reviewed so far. I like this a lot too. No. Um, it has a very complex taste. I was not expecting how complex the taste is. I haven't tried the, the kakikara yet, but this one gets a five for me. Really good. It's tasty. It's unique. The spicy level is, you know, just right. It's like a real depth of flavor to it. It really does have everything. Yeah. Even the texture is. Even the texture makes you think. I've never had anything with a texture like this before. The biggest problem is the pack's too small. Exactly. <laughs> it should be like four times that size. This is an American thing. You could serve it in like a bag, like this big. Right? People would just keep eating this. If this were marketed in America, it would be in a bag. Like you said, this big sold at a gas station for sure. So the one we just ate was the regular spicy one. No. The next one comes in a black packet. <laughs> and black. it has a very angry pig on the front. You're going to see that come up on the screen soon. Kikiopo. <laughs> <laughs> and it says this one is three times spicier than the other one we just ate. So. Are you expecting something outrageously spicy? Or? Not really, because the last one wasn't so s spicy. For me. Yeah. It had more just like a shoyu taste. Me too. A little spicy, but the sweetness was there too. So. Well, right off the bat, the coloring is about the same. Yeah. I see no difference. Yeah. It is spicy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it stings you like a hornet in the back of your throat. Yeah. Yeah, it is way spicier. It's not unbearable. No. I wonder if it's a built-in spice, though. Oh, man, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, I mean, I can still get behind this one. I will say, though, this spicy version makes more sense in a smaller package. This might be one of the best 100 yen snacks I've ever had. I like both as well. I like the very spicy one too. So me too. The main difference is I can eat more of the regular one. Yeah. This one is starting to yeah. burn my insides a yeah. little bit. So yeah. I feel it down here. It's starting to take over. <laughs> starting to shut everything down. <laughs> yeah, it's noticeably spicier. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. We got to see some scores. So. Do you want to review the snacks first, or do you want to score the drinks first? Snacks. <clears throat> I'm going to give... We're talking jerky, right? Mimiga. Okay. Yeah. I give the spicy version and the regular version both five stars. They exceeded my expectations. I would definitely buy both again. And I only wish I could get them in a bigger package. <laughs> I wish I could just get them in Matsuyama, even in this package, to be honest. So. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also give them both five stars. I really like both of these things. Mm. Yeah. How about you? That's a tough one to review. Mm. Because I haven't had enough Aomori to compare oh. it to others. As far as shochu goes, I never really consider any of it like delicious, mm. so to speak. I enjoy it, but mm. not like delicious. Mm. Is this delicious? I wouldn't say it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's 
very easy to drink, very smooth. Uh, it tastes like it's it tastes like it's good quality. Yeah. So I'd give it a four, I guess. Yeah, I'd go. There's nothing negative about it. I've actually had probably more Almoris than you, I guess. Before. I've only had maybe two or three bottles. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I've had like between five and ten Almoris okay. before in Izakayas. I've possibly had this one before, but I actually like the smell and the smoothness of drinking it. It's kind of a nice smell. So, 4.5. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Yes. So it uh, holds up well against other Awamoris? It's easier to drink than other ones. Okay. doesn't have that like really strong like burning alcohol it, unpleasantness. Yeah, it really so, doesn't. Yeah. It stays smoother than other ones. Like Today we're drinking this on the rocks. <clears throat> okay, guys. So that's the end of the Okinawa series. I yeah. hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So. Most likely there will be more to come in the future at some point. And if, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving us a like. Please consider subscribing. And again, if you have any requests or recommendations, please leave them in the comments and we'll try to Comment section below. answer everyone. We'll do our best. Thanks guys, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Japan After Dark. Alright, see ya. See ya. Thank you.